Is zero commission trading with Trading212 a scam? Or can you actually trust them with your money? Let's find out. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So my name is Dianze, and today we're gonna talk about Trading212. Now, Trading212 is a stockbroker app that was started in 2004 and is headquartered in London. Now, one of the great things about Trading212 is that you don't have to pay any commissions over any of the shares you buy on their platform, which is pretty sweet. Trading212 is a number one um, app, trading app in the UK, and they also have 14 million downloads. Now, despite all of these amazing things about Trading212, some people have still been quite skeptical about the app. Actually, if you go to Google and you type in Trading212, one of the first questions you get is, is Trading212 a scam? Is it legitimate? Should I pay, put my money with them? And because of that, I wanted to do this video today because I actually trade with Trading212 and I wanna get all of these myths out of the way. I'm gonna walk you through what zero commission trading actually is, we're gonna figure out whether your money is protected with Trading212 or not. I'm gonna show you how to open up an account and we're gonna buy our very first share or fractional share. So let's talk about commission-free trading. So one of the greatest things about trading on Trading212 is that you don't pay any commission over any of the trades you make on the app. So let's say for instance that you buy a share or a fractional share of Amazon, you don't pay any money for buying or selling that share, which is pretty amazing. Apart from that, you don't have any um, money withdrawal fees. So let's say you wanna withdraw any of your cash out of their accounts, you don't have to pay any money for that. I also believe there are no inactivity fees or any other hidden fees. So you're probably wondering, where is the catch? Where is the part that you're gonna tell me that Trading212 is a scam and it shouldn't be trusting it? Um, and actually there is no catch. Um, the way that Trading212 makes money though is by their CFD product. So CFD stands for contract for difference. And basically it's a way of um, speculating on many different uh, commodities, treasuries, um, shares, and Forex. And um, so what you do is you speculate that the price of a particular share is gonna go up. And when it goes up, you make money. But if you speculate that it's gonna go up and it actually goes down, you lose money. So it's a very high risk way of investing. And the way that I see it personally is you might as well go to Las Vegas and gamble all of your money away because it's just, you're just speculating, right? You don't know what you're actually investing into. Um, and it's actually so high risk that on Trading212's website themselves, they mention that about 80% of people lose money with the CFD product. Um, and that is actually also the way that Trading212 makes money. So they make money on the spread between the buy and sell prices of the CF2 product. So basically your losses are their income. And that is also why I don't touch it. I think it's way too risky. And I just stick to their invest and their ISA account to just buy individual shares. Now, how about your funds, right? Are your funds actually protected when you trade with Trading212? They actually are protected because Trading212 is backed by the FCA, which is the Financial Conduct Authority in the UK. Apart from that, they're also regulated by the FSCS, which is the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, I believe. I always have a hard time with this one. Um, but it, what it basically means is that your funds are gonna be protected up to 85,000 pounds if you put your money with Trading212. So that means that in case Trading212 happens to disappear tomorrow and they become insolvent as a company, your funds are still gonna be protected up to 85,000 pounds. So if you want to open up an account with Trading212, you basically have three options to choose from. So number one is their CFD account. Now, like I mentioned before, I am not a big fan of this account. I'm not gonna be touching it anytime soon because I think it's quite risky. But this is an option that you have. The second option is their ISA account. ISA stands for Individual Savings Account and basically it's a way to invest up to 20,000 pounds per year completely tax-free. So you don't pay any taxes over any of the gains you make on their platform. And the third account is actually the investment account. Um, this is just a regular investment account, which is kind of similar to the ISA account. So you can buy shares um, or fractional shares with this account. You can also buy ETFs with this account. 
Um, what is recommended to do, however, is that you max out your ISA first. So you put in 20,000, um, invest 20,000 into shares and ETFs in your ISA account. And then once you're done maxing out that and you benefit from your tax-free allowance, then you move to your investment account where you start investing, um, you know, also into ETFs and shares. Um, and the reason for this is obviously because you want to benefit from those tax-free uh, benefits and then you move on to your regular investment account. Now for most people, of course, they probably don't have 20,000 a year to invest. If you do, you are very lucky. Um, congratulations to you. Now I was going to show you how to open up an account on this website, but unfortunately because of the GameStop frenzy, trading 212 has stopped allowing people to create new accounts on their website. So instead of that, we're going to be, um, buying a single share and a fractional share using their practice account. So I already have an account on trading 212. So basically when you create an account, you're going to have to um, give them your email address, a passport, passport. You're going to need your national insurance number and a proof of address. And then you can basically open up an account. And when you open up an account, you're going to get to this page. Now, I know the very first time that I saw this page, it was pretty daunting, but it doesn't have to be. So basically, this here shows you the graph of how a particular stock is performing. So here we're currently looking at Netflix. On the side here is your watch list. So in our watch list, we are looking at Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, and a couple of other stocks. Now, let's say that we want to buy a single share of Tesla because we love that the price is dipping right now. Then we're going to click on buy and then you can choose down here how many shares you actually want to buy. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to buy a single share, right? Like I have seven hundred eighty seven dollars and I'm going to buy a single share of Tesla. Then I put one here, then I click review order and then I can review my order. You can see that the order type is a market buy. So we're buying a share. We're buying a single share. It's going to cost me this much in pounds. So remember that Tesla stock trades in dollars, but it is actually going to charge me in pounds because I am in the UK and over this share, I'm going to pay zero commission, right? Because it's trading two and two. So we pay zero commission. Then I'm going to click send buy order. And as you can see here, my order has now been executed. Now down here, you're going to see that this is a pending order. And the reason for that is because, um, stocks usually trade during a particular time of the day. So if it's nighttime, um, right here or in the U S then it's going to buy this order for me when the market opens up again. And then once it does that, it will tell me right here. Now, because this is a practice account, as you've noticed already, it has already bought the share for me right here. So in this, um, table down here, I can see how many shares I'm holding and then the amount of money that I'm holding. So let's expand this a little bit more so we can see it more clearly. So you can see here, for instance, I am holding a uh, Tesla, a single uh, quantity. So that's a single share. You can see the price that I bought it for. You can see the current price for which it's trading right now, which of course is very close to the price I bought it for because I bought it a couple seconds ago. And then you can see the market value. So that's the value of like, yeah. In, in, and that is, um, executed in pounds because like I said before, we're in the UK and then here you can see the result, which is the most important part, right? The result basically tells you whether you're making gains over your investments or whether you're making losses. So in this case, we already lost a single pound, which is kind of unfortunate. Now let's say that you don't have $786 to spend on shares, right? Like let's say you just want to spend, um, well, less money to buy Tesla, but you still want to buy Tesla. Now what you can do is you can click here again on buy, and then you can also say, okay, I want to buy half a share, or you can say, I want to buy 0.3 shares. And then you can see that I'm only paying 171 pounds in order to buy 0.3 shares of Tesla. So that's the great thing about trading 212. It's that you don't necessarily need to be someone with a lot of money to be able to participate in the stock market. You can pretty much participate 
with a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds a month and still make gains on the stock market. So that is pretty cool. So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, I can also do another video about how to use the auto invest and pie features with trading for 212. So please let me know if you would like me to do that in the comment section below. And as per usual, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.